everybody, Pookie TV X, Common Sense. And this is why I don't understand why people acting surprised. I don't understand why people are acting so goddamn surprised about um, Kim and Pete. Pete played his part of what he was supposed to do. And got a little, little uh, got a little Kim pussy and Kim head, part of the uh, part of the uh, agreements. Got a little, uh, yeah, got a little um, head and pussy for a while uh, from one of uh, America's sweethearts, which I don't understand how is that possible. But hey, this is all I I think I think this is all because of Kanye. They wanted to get Kanye to put him in his goddamn place. Because you remember how he was acting? We, we all remember how he was acting. I mean, this nigga... Popping up places. Making videos of goddamn... Kicking fucking goddamn Pete head off. And I mean, shit. I mean, they drove that nigga up a wall. Especially with the kids and shit, but that's how they play. That's how they play. That's always they trump cards. Uh, and they use it to their advantages with the kids. They use it to their fucking advantage. And it makes you look crazy because you trying. And then you got this fucking skinny, scrawny, meth head looking motherfucker laying in the bed talking about he playing with the kids. What do you think that's going to do to somebody? This whole shit was organized. Did they have real feelings? Probably. I mean, not on her side, but on, on Pete's side, definitely. Because his friends and everybody, you couldn't even probably believe it. They probably thought something, nah, this can't be real. No. Uh, and people just looking distraught. Like, how are you looking so fucking distraught for have you guys, have y'all seen how the growth of what she did and how she built her empire? How are y'all fucking surprised? Everybody, oh, Kim and, Kim, uh, Kim and Pete breaking up. Uh-oh, something's going on. In, 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 what's going on in their relationships? Nothing. They It's on schedule as it's supposed to be. It's on schedule as it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be and that's what it is. Pete was a goddamn tool used and he did it happily he, he much obliged yeah he much obliged as long as you get a little Kim pussy a little Kim head and piss off Kanye he, yeah he obliged he definitely obliged and this is why she's at the level that she at because of the mass of people that want to see what happened next. For what? For what? Just to see? You should know reality TV ain't fucking reality. But yet you want to see it. Yet you want to hurry up and get home and turn it on. Oh, God, the car daddy. Yeah, see what happened this week. Yeah, you remember what happened last time that dude tried? Yeah. Y'all keep praising these people, man, and don't fucking deserve it. Y'all praise people that don't fucking deserve it. People like, and the people that do deserve it, y'all look over because there ain't no trauma in it. Like Russell Wilson, see all my Seahawks, in, in which I'm pissed at that he's gone. I'm pissed about it. I'm pissed about it, and that's just what it is. But every Tuesday, Russ will go to um, St. Jude's for the kids. Donate and take pictures. Talk to the kids. Nobody, nobody pumps that. Nobody pumps that. And nobody's jumping on that because it's something good. 
Same thing with Michael Jackson. Nobody cared about him donating all this money and going to all these places until it was a goddamn, what does it call it? What the fuck they call it? Uh, whatever, a crime. They said it was a crime of kids, so. Before that, they didn't, nobody said shit. Yeah, he, he donated to the kids, okay? Everybody, nobody said nothing, because it's good. But as soon as the, that's where the allegations, as soon as the allegations came out, everybody was tuned in. What? Dr. King and Pop? Nuh uh. No, he didn't. What? what, what? They played off of y'all mind. We gotta figure out a way to get them up out of here. We gotta figure out a way. Y'all, y'all praise these people that don't fucking deserve being praised, man. Y'all praise ignorant bullshit. Ignorant bullshit. Y'all love it. You eat it up. That's why Tupac was the way he was. He was smart. He was gifted. He had a plan. They wasn't feeling him in the beginning when he wasn't when he was just talking political and talking Black Panther shit. They wasn't feeling him until he got to that gangster shit, and he and he knew that he knew that, and he prayed and went on it to try and switch it around as he go. He didn't have the time to do that. He got caught up in the shit he was portraying. Listen, go back and listen to this man's interviews of what he was saying. And until he got that gangster shit, everybody was on it. As soon as he shot them goddamn, uh, unshot them goddamn off-duty police officers, now everybody on it. Can any of y'all that love music and can memorize and sing music and rap music, remember what Tupac's first shit was like. And even on the same song. We celebrate bullshit until it gets overwhelming and we don't know what to do with it. Until it affects our shit. So that Kim and Pete shit say that shit. Say that fucking bullshit for somebody else, man. She was staged from the fucking beginning. This boy got used like a goddamn tampon and thrown in a goddamn toilet. Had nothing to do with him. He was a fucking prop. Poor kid. Poor goddamn kid. Pete. Just my goddamn ass with that bullshit. Fuck that nonsense, nigga. Shit ain't affecting nothing that's going on out here right now. We want to drop everything that we doing and all the shit we fighting for. The oh, goddamn. It's over. The world's over. Kim and Pete done broke up. The world is goddamn over. I got to find out. Let me see. Let me see. Go to the real ones that I know that probably be true. Let me see CNN. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're saying it. Let me go to TMZ. That's it. That's it. They said it. It's over. It's over. It's over. Mom, what about the lights and stuff? Fuck that. Kim and Pete, goddamn. What? Common sense.